So. First things first, I made my coffee. <laughs> That's always important. And Dad's making his. You cannot use anything that you previously used. I use my mugs anyway because I only use them for coffee and tea, so I don't really think that it matters. And I don't use them for soda, I don't use them for anything else, so um, I think that's, I think Did that'll I be okay with that. Did I know this trick? Oh yeah, the um, so my dad puts a spoon in the glass cup so that it doesn't shatter when he puts his coffee in. So there's his coffee. Are you excited for your coffee? Yes. Okay. So this is what our fridge looks like during Passover, as you can see, because all this stuff is not kosher for Passover. So my dad over here puts a tin foil on it so that it's kind of separated from the rest of the stuff. It's a lot less wasteful than um, just the t throwing everything out. You can tell people that actually we sold it. You sold it? We sold it. We're not allowed to use it because it belongs to someone else. There we, we go. It. We sold all our, we sold. It's part of the way of getting around throwing out and wasting everything is that uh, we have an agent that signs a power of attorney that it's their property and we sell it for money, real money, cash money. And then uh, they buy it. And then at the end of uh, Passover, we buy it back. Awesome. Yeah. I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah, it's a thing. So yeah, that's our that's our fridge during Passover time. Um, it's just we're not allowed to have anything that's considered chametz, which is what flour and wheat. Well, there's there's a lot and there's grains and, kidney, and there's kidney. Oil. There's so, a lot of different types of things that we're not allowed to. Basically, you are not allowed to have anything that it can leaven. Any wheat is one, but there are four other uh, grains that you're not allowed to have, such as spelt and rye, and we don't eat corn, and we don't eat. Ashkenazic Jews don't eat rice, um, beans, and stuff like that. There are a lot of restrictions, so therefore we just kind of put everything away, and that is what we do. And sometimes we even like square off a cupboard, like over here we have. So up here, as you can see, we put all my cookies and all my snack foods up there, and this is all the stuff that we're not allowed to have for Passover. Right, pasta we're not allowed to have, and rice we're not allowed to have. And we're not allowed to have anything that's leavened or can rise. So. Um, this is what, this is our alternative. This is called matzah. This is unleavened bread. And, and it's baked for 18 minutes. It's baked for 18 minutes because it's so, supposed to Sim sim symbolize <laughs> that when the Jews and the Israelites were coming out of Egypt after 440 years in slavery, Moses was just like, come on guys, before he changed his mind. And Pharaoh was like, get out, get out, get out. And then everybody was like, okay, well, what do we do? And so they made matzah because they were originally supposed to have bread and it couldn't rise. So the story goes. So the story goes. But that's just, you know. That's the simplified version. That's the simplified version. And there's all this stuff that goes along the way. There's all this stuff that symbolizes each part of the journey out of Egypt. And so that's basically what we celebrate on this holiday, which gives us lots of... GI G upset. G upset. <laughs> so um, it's only for eight days. So today I thought that I would give you guys kind of a special look into um, some foods that we cook during Passover. Um, this one is matzah brai, which is basically matzah with eggs and syrup. It's, it's uh, we'll delicious. It Passover French toast. Passover French toast, if that's how you want to think about it. The Hebrews, as known in the Exodus, uh, were in slavery for how long was it? 440 years? So they weren't the Israelites until they left Egypt. And during that time, uh, Moses was communicating with God, apparently. You know, 10 of these amazing, not so great for the Egyptian plagues. <laughs> Um, and after the 10th plague, Pharaoh basically said, you know what, just get out. And so when the uh, Hebrews were leaving Egypt to go become the Israelites, um, we, they cooked this stuff called matzah. And this is basically a oh, bread oh, that oh, is cooked. And it's not the, the flour is not that loud to touch minutes. any water, so it doesn't leaven. And it doesn't touch water, so it doesn't leaven.